to vlog number 16 already. As promised last week I am going to explain you a little bit more about the different weather phenomena that we had last week. Um, I will explain you a little bit about wind shear that we had in Palermo and about um, Cuban Nimbus clouds. The funny thing is that the wind shear this week was caused by the Shiroko wind coming from Africa and the interesting thing for me is that I remember studying in meteorology classes in, during the ATPL theory I remember studying the different kinds of wind the fern wind, the mistral wind, the Shiroko wind so I will make a little drawing while I explain all the different phenomena interesting thing is that if you first look at the video that I'm now going to include again in the video even though you've seen it last week as well you can see all the water while I'm taking off you can see the water moving in a very different direction so first I'll show you that video then I will explain you by drawing I will explain you something about the different weather and um, I hope you like it this, this is just a little this is just an extra video because I I just like to explain you some things as well. My channel will never be completely explaining all different things in aviation because there are other people, other friends that um, make these kind of videos. Me, I would just like to, once in a while, if I encounter something, I would like to explain it because it could be very interesting for you guys. Um, so this video is going to be more explaining because last week you've seen the actual vlog that I did. So I hope you like it, let's have a look! something about wind shear. We encountered wind shear in Palermo. And in order to explain something about wind shear, I would like to show you the runway configuration in Palermo. We have runway 20 here, uh, runway 2002 here, and 2507 here. South of the field, we have this big mountain. Last few days, we had Shiroko wind. Shiroko wind is a wind coming from Africa, the Sahara. So it's a very hot and dusty wind. Shiroko winds coming from the south. If you look at the airfield from the side, it's a platform like this and then the mountain goes quite high up with the airport here. What happens is if the wind is coming from the south, from here, it falls off the mountain and make these The fast of the mountain changes very fast in direction and intensity. And that is actually the definition of wind shear. The rapid change of direction and intensity of the wind. Planes trying to land here on the runway will encounter updrafts, downdrafts and um, very gusty wind that's changing direction a lot. This is the big mountain I was talking about. Um, we're now on the airport side, which is like quite a platform, quite flat. And then there is the big mountain on the south part. And um, 
that's basically why the Shiroko end has such a big effect on the flower. Oh. Then the cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus clouds are clouds that have a stable base but grow very, very high. They are caused by vertical movement of the air. The air is condensated and the cloud can reach very, very high due to these vertical movements, vertical motion of the air. Inside these clouds you can find turbulence and icing. And we would always like to go around them rather than to get inside because of these two phenomena. If we have to go around these clouds, we would always prefer to go from the upwind side, if the wind is coming from here. We want to pass it on the upwind because if in case we would pass it on the downwind side, we would maybe end up inside the clouds anyway, because the wind is moving the cloud in the direction that it wants. What I would like to add here is that this is a typical significant weather chart of Europe with a lot of interesting clouds and you can see that all the clouds are um, that all the clouds that are drawn here are specified in the little boxes saying in this one for example isolated embedded cumulonimbus now with the altitudes it will also give the amount of turbulence and icing and between which levels. So it's very interesting to have a look always on the significant weather chart to see where to expect cumulonimbus clouds, where to expect high winds and um, what kind of turbulence and icing you may encounter. So thank you again for watching. I hope it was interesting for you to learn a little bit more about wind shear and about cumulonimbus clouds. Um, next week I'll be back with a whole new vlog again, a whole new vlog again. I'm not really sure yet how to say it, vlog or vlog. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you would prefer me to say. And um, I hope to see you next week. <laughs> bye bye.